Hello guys, my name is Mark from jazzguitarlessons.net. Welcome to the vlog for a slightly different issue, uh, short and sweet. And because just I was just working out and I'm still in my workout clothes, I figured uh, I wanted to discuss about physical fitness and health as it relates to people playing jazz, playing guitar overall. So two things. Number one, we get to sit down for an incredible amount of hours, sometimes with, you know, twisted hips and uh, shoulder like this, whatever. And also now, uh, at the time I'm filming this, we are in uh, a pandemic phase, so we stay home a lot. Uh, so I guess a lot of people have not been moving. So in this video, I want to provide you three main tips or my three main recommendations. I'm not affiliated, just want to tell you the stuff I, I did work on uh, for my health. And also to tell you that you should go ahead and work out and do whatever form of activity I see. Um, some of my students get paranoid sometimes they get like oh no you know i hurt here so it means i have to stop lifting weights so or have to my ankle hurts when i practice so i should stop cycling or whatever i'm like no it's not true the 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 more the better so i'd say go ahead and use uh, you know build habits build muscles and make sure you get your blood flowing it will make you into a better musician your mood will increase your blood sugar will stabilize everything will stabilize so the following the three suggested suggestions are in no particular order and also i've just i've tried a lot of stuff because i just like trying new gimmicks and so i've tried a lot of different workouts working with coaches on and off and i've tried um i've tried several you know different gyms and devices and types of workouts and diets and i just it's one of my hobbies right to experiment like this so that being said here are my three main ones no particular order and not affiliated i'm well, having trouble here Siri's having trouble doing something crazy. Um, yeah, that's one thing I will talk about later. You always see me with that red watch, right? Uh, number one, not affiliated, not making a dime off of this. Diamond Dallas Page, DDP Yoga, DDPY Yoga. He has an app and a website. He's a, a, an old wrestler from the WWF era, and he made this platform, which is yoga, uh, but not in an Indian tradition. It's very interesting, very motivating, very positive, lots of good vibes, low impact, uh, no impact on your joints, no jumping, no running, no cardio. And it's all yoga that's based on your heart rate. So you can have a watch like this or have a chest band and you know when you're in that zone. So if you're not, you give it a little more. If you're too high, your heart rate is too high, you just give less. And that's a really good program. It's pretty simple. You put it on your on your phone and what you can do is put it on TV, cast it on your TV, and then you, all you need is a yoga mat and uh, an hour. So it's good. You get sweating and the guy is really friendly. So that's the type of workout I like to do. Although I haven't done those in a little while. My other suggestion would be to try and build muscle through lifting heavy weights. So lifting heavy weights not too often. A uh, thing I've discovered recently that I will go out on a limb here, but I've only been doing it for about two months. It's called the X3 bar. Have it right here. So the X3 bar is a small bar to which that, that swivel uh, X3. You can find this on x3.com, whatever. Uh, not related to the BMW SUV car, like 3X, whatever. Not related. So there's this bar and it comes with a base plate. It comes with elastic bands that are latex. latex. And those are they're pretty long, so you can either... Uh, have them single or double and you you put the bar on and you you push or press or pull or do a deadlift or do a chest press or tricep bicep you, a whole body there's two workouts and the bands are now that's the smallest one but they they get to a, a lot of tension and that's good because there's two workouts you do your full body on alternating days and the basis of it is that it's um gradual tension so if you are say you're pressing you're at a point where you're here with the bar there's no tension but as you get further down the, the elastic band is pushing on you much further so there's a lot more weight at the end of your of your range of motion where you're the strongest like i, I know we could do this as a thought as a thought experiment would be well do a push-up and just be in the push-up full upright position like this stay there you could stay in plank for long right i don't know five minutes but if you're here you're gonna have way less time because you're 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 less strong there right than you are all the way up especially if you lock your your elbows so 
And that's the basis of the this Elastic Band X3 program is, well, you have variable tension, so it's easy on your joints at the weak range of motion, and it's asking you to press more at the point where you um, where you have more force, where you have more uh, response from your muscles, all muscles, deadlifts, squats, everything is doable. I did it this morning, I think it took me nine minutes. It sucks because you suffer and you do all you can in a, a certain while you press it or you push it, whatever, and the muscle does does not want to go. You keep doing it until your, your your movement is zero. So it's a very cool little thing. Look it up. And my third recommend, so first recommendation, DDPY yoga. Second recommendation for musicians, X3 bar. Third recommendation, I did it for two years. I uh, lost about 25 pounds of fat back in 2009. You can see this in the videos. Uh, I, I'm by no means super lean, but I was not obese, but I was on, on the higher end of being, uh, you know, a bit chubby around the edges. So PN is Precision Nutrition. It is a year long program uh, founded by a Canadian um, in Toronto. And it's a, it's an American company. But the point is you get a coach and it's pretty expensive. I think it's about 100 bucks a month. You get a coach and you get a daily program. It's mostly based around nutritional habits, meaning that every two weeks you get a habit to practice. You focus on one thing at a time and also you're assigned workouts for your level, but the workouts are, I wouldn't say optional, but they're part of it. But most of the changes in the program come from habits. So if you're looking to increase your, uh, have a better looking body, but just increase your health overall for everything, this is the thing I would recommend you do, but it's it's a long it's a long program. I mean, it's a year long, and it's it means that whatever you do in that program, those habits will stick to you for life. So those are my top three, uh, basically DDPY, the X3 bar, and PN. There's countless other things that you could do, and w what I would do for as far as dieting, as far as moving, whatever works for you that is sustainable. Personally, my big my big problem was to commit to things that. I did just for the sake of doing and it was not necessarily natural for me to do and I couldn't su sustain them very long. So that's what I learned over with uh, with PN. It was just, well, do something that you could do every day that you like doing. It can be playing basketball, it can be running. And to be honest, my last two parting thoughts, if you do nothing and you don't like to work out and you don't like to really pay attention to what you eat, I'd say, Take a walk. If you're about to play guitar, take a walk. Take a five, 10 minute walk, especially if you do it after a meal. It controls your insulins and whatever. It's just, I don't know what's up with that, but eat, walk, and then practice. If you could just add a five or 10 minute walk every day, it's gonna change. Uh, it changes your life drastically. The other thing is that I used to, to have uh, Fitbits for, for a long time. Now it's an Apple watch, but it does track my uh, movements and my, you know, when it's time to, Stand up. You know, okay, you've been sitting for an hour. Stand up. You know, it tells you. Uh, so that's another thing I'd recommend you use. Uh, you know, my mom started to do it as well. It's not to beat yourself on the head, to beat yourself up and go like, oh, I didn't walk enough today. It's like, no, look at it and see what your baseline is and see, oh, I walk 5,000 steps per day. Like, okay, how about next week you try to do a little more? Maybe you go to 6,000 steps and then these things become habitual. So that, no, that's it. That's uh, totally unrelated to music vlog, but I think uh, a lot of my students can benefit by just moving a little more. Uh, in my case, I'm in my mid thirties. So the muscle mass is just testosterone, everything it's going away, right? So just a good habit to build muscle, to make sure your joints are loose and that you move enough. So the blood circulates, everything gets better. Your mood is better. Your sleep gets better uh, by, you know, all these things work together. It's a a matter of habits, which is pretty much the same as practicing guitar as far as habits as you do, you do it for a long period of time, a little bit at a time, and then you get good. All right, on that note, I'm Mark from jazzcarlsons.net. Uh, I will let you go. The last thing I will tell you is if you do have health issues that are severe, not, not necessarily medical, but you know, you have weight to lose and you have pain in your body and etc. I would say the best thing to do is get a coach, get accountable to someone that's going to follow you through these steps, pretty much the same way I do with my jazz guitar students. So if you'd like to get on a call with me to see if we could work together in coaching and mentoring type of program, go to the website is nextlevel.com 
www.jazzguitarlessons.net, nextlevel.jazzguitarlessons.net, then book a call straight on my calendar, and what I can do is map a blueprint uh, for your jazz guitar learning. On that note, I will let you go. My name is Mark from jazzguitarlessons.net. Improve your jazz guitar playing with a real teacher. Work, work out hard, but work, work out guitar harder. And I will see you soon on the website. Take care. Thank you.